Hello everyone, I welcome you once again. Uh, today we will discuss uh, transformation in bacteria and uh, bacterial reproduction ka part hai. This is the fourth lecture about uh, bacterial reproduction. The other three lectures are already available on my channel and you can see uh, them from there. Uh, as far as the transformation is concerned, you can uh, see here there are the DNA fragments and they are spontaneously picked up by the bacterial uh, cell and after uptake of uh, this uh, DNA from the solution, the bacteria it is getting transformed. Uh, how is this happening? We will see it uh, later in these slides. So let's start. Transformation uh, uh, in bacteria uh, we have already discussed that is uh, the DNA fragments which are already present in the solution and if in this solution the bacteria is inserted the bacteria it is effectively take, taking these fragments into the cell if these genes they are recombined in this bacterial genome the nature of a bacterial cell is changed and this changed nature it is known as transformed bacterial cell and the process which is known as transformation here you can see that these are the dna fragments they are spontaneously picked up by this uh, bacterial cell and here you can see this picked up fragment. Uh, there are two possibilities. If the integration uh, by this uh, non-reciprocal recombination, if it is getting inserted into this main genome, it is known as now stable transformation. Why it is known as stable transformation? Because agar ye fragment main genome insert nahi ho paega, it will remain as a single stranded and if it will remain a single strand as a single stranded uh, dna then the enzymes of this very bacterial cell they can degrade these fragments that's why it is known as unsuccessful transformation or unstable transformation for stable transformation to occur these uh, genes they should incorporate into the main genome the second possibility is this if there is no there are no dna fragments there is a complete dna plasmid it can shift itself into this bacterial cell and this is known as stable transformation why it is known as stable transformation because this plasmid uh, this uh, uh, plasmid which is also uh, the double stranded extra chromosomal dna it is already double stranded dna so it cannot be cut down by the enzymes of this bacterial cell Features of transformation, it was first uh, given by uh, Griffith in 1928 in his famous Griffith experiment. Uh, uh, he uh, worked on uh, the bacteria which is known as Diplococcus pneumoniae. You may found uh, the mention of Streptococcus pneumoniae in some books and uh, both uh, are uh, correct in their own way. Uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae and Diplococcus pneumoniae, we can use both of them. Uh, obviously, uh, we have already discussed that the genetic material of one cell goes into the another bacterial cell. It is also known by the name genetic recombination and there are various methods of genetic recombination as we know. Uh, one is conjugation we, which we have already discussed and uh, the video is already there. And uh, second one is transformation and third one is transduction. It converts one type of bacterium into the another type. Ye humne abhi discuss kiya tha. The nature of bacterium is getting changed and if the bacteria is non-capsulated, it can uh, have now capsule after the transformation is carried out. This very famous experiment, transformation experiment, it was done by uh, Griffith. Uh, which was a, a British scientist, a British bacteriologist in 1928. Uh, in this process in which the external DNA is spontaneously taken up by the cell uh, and then uh, change the nature of the bacterium. It is known as transformation experiment as we already discussed. And th there is a bacterium which is known as Diplococcus or Streptococcus pneumoniae. Uh, Griffith 
he used two strains of bacteria what do you mean by strains uh, you can say that the types of bacteria there are two types of colonies which are uh, uh, formed by these uh, uh, bacteria which are known as diplococcus uh, pneumoniae two types of colonies one is rough colonies and second one is smooth colonies smooth colonies are due to the presence of capsule in them and here the capsule is absent uh, griffith used r2 strain of rough bacteria and here s3 strain of smooth bacteria r bacteria r bacteria was non pathogenic uh, so you can see here r bacteria is non pathogenic and it is also known by the name non virulent bacteria r2 strain usne use ki thi and s3 was pathogenic and it is also known as virulent strain so which disease this s3 is causing in the organism uh, it is causing pneumonia in lungs uh, the capsule which is uh, which which uh, uh, was discussed here in case of smooth bacteria it allows the cell to escape from the immune system of the host mouse uh, why uh, mouse is uh, uh, discussed here because the griffith it was um, uh, it was mouse on which the griffith performed the transformation experiment so there were four stages of transformation experiment stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 so uh, what was happened in these four stage experiments let's see this was the first stage when griffith injected live r2 bacteria in the mouse as we know r2 strain is non virulent uh, uh sorry about that here is s3 bacteria live s3 bacteria as we know the live s3 bacteria it is virulent and he injected uh, a live Uh, s3 bacteria in this mouse as we know it is virulent and it can cause pneumonia it can cause uh, pneumonia to mouse and the mouse died in second stage in second stage he injected the mouse with live r2 strain as we know live r2 strain it is non virulent and therefore when he injected the mouse with r2 mice survived in third stage experiment when he used heat killed smooth 3 strain heat killed smooth 3 strain uh, it was not having now any type of live s3 live s3 were not there and therefore mouse was able to survive no pneumonia was reported in uh, this mouse and in the fourth stage in the fourth stage he combined those two stages in which the mouse survived and those two stages uh, according to this page it was it is second and third stage dekhiye yahan pe second stage was live r2 he combined live r2 with heat killed smooth 3 and when these two live stages they were combined for his surprise the mouse died and he concluded that something from heat killed smooth 3 strain something from heat killed smooth strain has entered into r2 strain that has transformed or changed this r2 strain into s3 how uh, this was possible because when he examined this mouse he extracted uh, blood from this mouse and he, uh, to his surprise he found live s3 bacteria which were not added in this experiment by griffith and how 
दीज लाइव एस थ्री वर फाउंड नो आर टू वर देयर नो आर टू वर देयर विच वॉज एडेड इन दिस स्टेज हाउ लाइव एस थ्री वर इन फॉर्म he concluded that something has entered from heat killed smooth three strain into live r2 that has transformed live r2 into live s3 that's why the, uh, due to this transformation this experiment it is also known by the name transformation experiment mm -hmm. and this transformation was not actually possible without the genetic recombination and due to this genetic recombination uh, this experiment uh, this transformation it is also a type of sexual reproduction in bacteria further this was confirmed by these three scientists avery macleod and mccarty in 1948 that the transformation was actually done by dna these were the scientists who uh, confirmed that the, there is the dna which is behind the transformation experiment actually griffith uh, was not aware of uh, this uh, uh, fact that the dna is behind the transformation he on, uh, only named this as transforming principle कहने का मतलब जो ग्रिफिथ है उसने सिर्फ यही कहा कि कोई ऐसा ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग प्रिंसिपल है जो लाइव आर टू को एस थ्री में कन्वर्ट करता है बट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग प्रिंसिपल वॉज एक्चुअली डीएनए दी दिस वॉज कन्फर्म बाय दीज थ्री साइंटिस्ट एवरी मैकलियोड एंड मैकार्टी एंड हाउ उन्होंने क्या किया कि एक टेस्ट ट्यूब में अलग अलग एंजाइम से फॉर एग्जांपल पहले डीएनए यूज कर लिया आरएनए यूज कर लिया और प्रोटीएज यूज कर लिया ये तीनों एंजाइम बारी बारी से यूज किए एक टेस्ट ट्यूब में और इसमें स्मूथ थ्री बैक्टीरिया डाल दी डाल दिए मान लीजिए और अगर मान लो डीएनए इसमें डाल दिया और उसके बाद इसका इंजेक्शन माउस को लगा दिया तो माउस सर्वाइव्ड क्यों क्योंकि डीएनए ने इसको डिग्रेड कर दिया था लेकिन जब आर डाला तो डीएनए इंटेक्ट रहा और जब उसका इंजेक्शन माउस को लगाया तो माउस डाइड और प्रोटीएज जब डाला तब भी डीएनए इंटेक्ट रहा होगा क्योंकि डीएनए यहाँ पे रक्चर नहीं हुआ तब उस वक्त जो इंजेक्शन लगा माउस को इवन देन द माउस डाइट सो दिस कंफर्म दैट द डीएनए इज एक्चुअली द जेनेटिक मटेरियल नोट आरएनए नोट आरएनए नोट प्रोटीन डीएनए इज द जेनेटिक मटेरियल बिकॉज इट वाज कंफर्म बाय दीज थ्री साइंटिस्ट एवरी मैकलियोड एंड मैकार्टी विद द यूज ऑफ दिस एंजाइम डीएनए इज एंजाइम डीएनए ने जिस एक्सपेरिमेंट में इसको डिग्रेड कर दिया उस एक्सपेरिमेंट में माउस जिंदा रहा और इन्होंने हीट किल्ड इन्होंने स्मूथ थ्री लाइव थ्री स्ट्रेन को इन्होंने यूज किया था सो दैट्स ऑल इन द लेक्चर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अगले लेक्चर में मिलते हैं इन दैट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ट्रांसडक्शन द लास्ट इन द सीरीज ऑफ बैक्टीरियल सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन थैंक यू